today i would like to teach you a piece of fiction birth written by aj cronin so the name of the chapter is birth written by aj cronin first let's know something about the author A.J. Cronin was a doctor by profession. Having a flair for writing, he won many writing competitions. He authored many bestsellers which were translated into numerous languages. A master of wonderful narrative skill, acute observation and graphic description, he drew subject matter for some of his novels and stories from his medical career. Birth is one such story. Doctor by profession, authored many bestsellers these were translated into numerous languages many of the novels and stories are very famous and birth is one such story now let's talk something about the lesson Birth by A.J. Cronin is an impressive story of a doctor's successful efforts to resuscitate the precious life of a newborn baby hopelessly given up as a stillborn child by an experienced midwife. Quite raw in the medical field, the young doctor's relentless efforts, adamantine determination, infallible will and a humane approach succeeded in pulling the teacher child out of the jaws of death, much to his satisfaction sense of achievement and fulfillment as well as to the great relief and joy of the Morgan family. By bringing back the child to life as if by a miracle, Dr. Andrew not only bestowed exquisite joy on the middle-aged parents who were blessed with a child two decades after the marriage, but also experienced a thrilling joy at having done something real at last. So, the main points about the chapter are a story of a doctor's successful efforts. Moreover, his determination, his will and a humane approach. It's a story of his determination, will and humane approach. He drew the child back from the jaws of death and gave the middle-aged parents their child alive and safe. After that, he expressed his exquisite joy by giving the child to two to the parents who were middle-aged, having two decades after their marriage, but also experienced a thrilling joy at having done something real at last. So, now let's have a summary of the chapter. First, Dr. Andrew receives a call from Morgans to deliver their child. Joe restlessly awaits Dr. Andrew's return home. Dr. Andrew promptly agrees to accompany Mr. Morgan. Both men walk into the stillness of the night. On reaching their residence, Morgan chooses to stay out during the child's birth. Now, he examines the case. He finds the midwife and Mrs. Morgan's mother eagerly awaiting the baby's birth. Examination reveals there is still some time for the baby's arrival. Mrs. Morgan's mother wishing the doctor to stay back till the delivery makes him a cup of tea. Sipping tea in the kitchen, Dr. Morgan broods over his own affairs. So, first Dr. Andrew receives the call. 
Dr. Andrew promptly agrees to accompany Mr. Morgan. On reaching their residence, Morgan chooses to stay out during the child's birth. Examines the case. Dr. Andrew examines the case. And finds that there is some time left in the child's birth. Mrs. Morgan's mother wishing the doctors to stay back till the delivery makes him a cup of tea and then Dr. Morgan broods over his own affairs. Now there is a sense of concern for the precious baby. Mrs. Morgan's mother reveals the entire family's burning desire for the child. She requests on her daughter Suzanne's behalf not to administer chloroform if it would harm the child. Dr. Andrew assures her of its harmlessness. The family members, the, the next point is, the family members show their burning desire to have a baby. Moreover, Mrs. Morgan's mother Request on her daughter Suzanne's behalf not to administer chloroform. So she requests the doctor to assure safety of the child. The baby arrives now. On being called by the nurse, doctor rushes to Mrs. Morgan's room. The baby arrives after a difficult period of an hour. Now time for the baby to arrive. Moreover, now Dr. Andrew is in a dilemma. What type of dilemma it is? Exhausted, he is exhausted after the tough struggle. The doctor is shocked at the delivery of a stillborn child as announced by nurse. The mother is also in a critical condition. Torn between the desire to, he is torn. That means Dr. Andrew is torn between the desire to revive the almost born child and to attend to the thinking mother in a critical condition. Dr. Andrew focuses his attention on Mrs. Morgan. The doctor's feverish efforts succeed in restoring the mother. Now, what happens? Dr. Andrew is in a dilemma whether to save the critical mother or to save the most awaited child who was born stillborn who was stillborn. He efforts, he makes efforts to save the mother. Now there's the time to hope against hope. In spite of the presumption of the child being a stillborn, the doctor doesn't give up. He reminds of a similar case treatment. The doctor alternately dips it in cold and hot water, hoping to revive it. So, what does the doctor do to revive the child? Dr. Andrew gets success first in restoring the mother. Moreover, in saving the Child's life, he doesn't leave any mistake. He gives his best to cure or revive the child. The 
experiment to sputile, that means vein. Later, pressing and releasing the little chest, the doctor makes one last effort to ignite the spark of life in the lymph body. So, by pressing the chest, all the efforts first go in vain. At last, he tries to press the chest to revive it. There was a miraculous survival. Contrary to the expectations, the child miraculously revives, giving everybody a great joy. Hearing a sigh of relief at not having betrayed Morgan's immense faith in him, the exhausted doctor leaves for home after breaking the happy news to Mr. Morgan. He has sense of having done something real at last. Now, what happens? The doctor succeeds to revive the child and after giving the news after giving the news to Mr. Morgan he leaves that was all about the story let's have the theme of the poem now sorry theme of the chapter now the story birth centers around the character of Dr. Andrew who miraculously revives a newborn child given up for death Dr. Andrew was a young doctor who was struggling to establish himself as a medical practitioner. His evening had been quite disappointing and he feared that the night would be no better. But he ends up doing something real by reviving in asphyxiated newborn. Thus the story hinges on the theme, never say die attitude, and the precious gift of life which only God can grant and the doctor can retrive and restore. That's what fulfills a doctor. So the theme says never say die attitude and precious gift of life can be granted by the Almighty. That's what fulfills the doctor. This was all about the chapter. Thank you.